You're smoking. The coach was delayed by the storm. They are three of the least likely success stories in literary history. Their accomplishments all the more improbable, not just because they grew up in the same house, but because of when they achieved their fame. All three of these books have been written by the Bronte sisters during the Victorian era, which is incredible because that's not a time when women are encouraged to write, encouraged to do really anything other than cooking. So the fact that these three women were poets and authors is just incredible. Polly Teal's play Bronte tells the story of these three remarkable sisters who wrote, among other works, Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights, and The Tenant of Wildfell. Hall. But it also introduces us to their father, played by Jordy Richardson, and their brother Branwell, who fell well short of expectations. Oh, Branwell, he is dismissed. The master has threatened to shoot him should he ever set eyes upon his wife again. He was the one that was expected to do things in the family because he's male, he's the heir, he's supposed to do things, um, and he doesn't. He drinks. Branwell doesn't succeed. And then he finds out that his daughters, who very rare for the time, he actually taught them how to read and write and made sure that they could do it. And they took that, they wrote these novels and ended up doing well for themselves. Bronte is being staged by U of S drama students through Greystone Theater. Many are being graded on their work in the show as well as for the research they have done to prepare for it. Am I still doing the breath notes that are offering me to cry away? If Richardson receives high marks, he will have truly earned them, as his preparation has included having to learn three different dialects, Northern Irish, French, and Upper Crust English. And particularly French was challenging because there are sounds in French that don't occur in English, particularly the R sound that you may have heard French speakers do. It's very uvular in the back of the throat, which took a while for me to figure out. We were absolutely blessed with an amazing dialect coach. Her name's Dorothy, and we Skyped called with her for weeks. We went over the signature sounds, and we worked on that, and so our scripts are filled with IPA going through, so we make sure that we know what sounds are the most important. Bronte plays at Greystone Theater in the John Mitchell Building on campus through December 3rd. In Saskatoon, I'm Simon Hyatt reporting.